Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I have not one, not two, not three, but four packages here of clothing to unbox, haul, try on for you on camera for your viewing pleasure. I have two parcels here from Seed Heritage and I have one parcel from Lorna Jane. And I have another parcel from French Connections. So all these websites are currently doing like end of financial year sales. All of this stuff that I purchased is currently in their like sale or their outlet section. So I didn't pay full price for any of this. I have one jacket and then everything else is shirts, like tops or shirts. I am at the point where I need new shirts for work and shirts to like throw on around the house and for filming and stuff like that so that's why there are only shirts in this haul i mainly wear dress pants to work or i will wear leggings on the weekend <laughs> If you're new around here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. This is your go-to channel for all things Aussie beauty. Not so much beauty today. <laughs> Without further ado, let's jump on in to the video. I am super excited to check all this stuff out and try it on. So we might start with French Connections. So French Connections is a, I think it's a UK based brand. I'm on their mailing list. So whenever they have good sales, I kind of jump on their website and see if anything interests me. I do quite like their clothing. I don't know whether I would pay full price for them though. That's why I always stalk their sale section. So they have an outlet section and a sale section. And in this sale, I think the sale section was a further 20% off and then the outlet section was a further 30% off. And then I think with French Connections, I found a coupon code to get me a further 10% off. So. I am a absolute bargain hunter when it comes to buying clothes. This top here, I paid $31.46. The original price on it is, sorry, $89.95. off. So that is this one here. It is a cute little like sleeveless singlet collared top with like a peplum around it. But then there's also this drawstring tie, which I don't know how I feel about about the drawstring tie with and there's tassels on it as well I don't know how I feel about that I do like the print though I okay so this is the first top um, I don't know whether I actually really like it all that much I think this one unfortunately as much as I love the print, is going back. The next one I paid $14.36 for, and it is a t-shirt. Um, and it's got like this double peplum hem here on it. This is a medium, but it looks very big. I think this might possibly be too big on me, but I will see how it looks. This one was original price of $59.95. This is the next one. This is the little like peplum top. It does look very big on me, like, look at all that room. Um, if it was a little bit smaller maybe, this angle is really unflattering for me. Yeah, I'm going to say no to this one as well. The next one I got for $35.96 and it is another kind of peplum kind of top. It's got this like chiffon peplum edge on it and it's just like a basic sweater long sleeve top. The original price on this one was $69.95. This is the next one. The problem is these little like peplum things down here because they hit me on almost the widest part of my body. They just make me like because they stick out they just make me look even bigger on my hips. I don't like this one either. So the next one I purchased for $43.16 and the original price on this one was $79.95 and it is this long sleeve well I think it's actually more like a three quarter sleeve woven top and then on the bottom it's got this kind of rainbow bird print detail and I think this 
This is kind of just below waist and it's got a bit of a slit on the side. So I'll try that one on for you guys and see what it looks like. This is a medium. Okay, so this is the navy blue like bird half half shirt. It does cut up but not like it comes up to about here which is like top of my hips. So it's not too bad if you're if you're concerned about it like opening. I'm wearing like quite high-waisted tights, so like the bands up to here. You, there's not really any concern of showing skin. I think I actually like this top. I think it'd be all right for work to wear under my work jacket. So that is one out of four so far. Last two items I got are for hubby. So I got just a, it's a long sleeve navy blue Collared top. I thought this would be really nice because um, Jack has a lot of of those like beigey browny kind of chino pants. I thought this would be really nice over them for him. This top he really didn't want me to buy any clothes for him, but then I showed him this top and he thought it was hilarious. It's a little bit rude, but it's also really funny. So this one we paid twenty one dollars and fifty six cents for. Original price on this one is forty nine ninety five. Look at it. <laughs> it's. It's a little monkey. Eating a banana, giving you the finger. Isn't that just brilliant? Hilarious. The package from Lorna Jane. Lorna Jane is an Australian fitness company. I didn't actually buy fitness clothes though. I actually brought a jacket. I have, have a leather jacket. And when I say leather jacket, I just mean a jacket that looks leather. It's not actually leather. It's just like synthetic. All along the back here, the leather part has like flaked off. So it doesn't look very dressy anymore. So I thought I need to get a new jacket. I'm also on the Lorna Jane email list and I saw this pop up in the email list and I was like, I really like that jacket. So I picked it up. So it's just a basic like black biker style jacket. It's got fleece on the inside. Oh my God, this is going to keep me so warm. The leather jacket, I think it was about 159 or 160 and then I had a 20% off coupon code that I found and then I also had some credits sitting there from previous purchases of I think it was about $11. So I got a further $11 off, which brought it down to $27.99 for me. My jacket to throw on over the top. The jacket, I'm not sure. I feel like I should go up another size in the jacket. It definitely fits. Um, I just feel like I have no room in the arms if I want to put like a cardigan on or anything underneath. Okay, I'm going to have to email Lorna Jane because the tag that's sewn into the jacket says medium, but the tag that's clipped onto the jacket says large. I think if it was a large, it'd be perfect. But the medium, it fits, but it just doesn't give me enough room like in the arms. Like I said, if I want to wear a cardigan or anything underneath um, to add some extra warmth. Moving on to seed heritage. I love seed clothes. I find though a lot of the time their sizing is a little bit off for me. Some of this is probably going to end up going back. In here I have two tops. This top here that I'm about to show you was originally $79.95 and it brought it down to $41.96. And it is this jumper with like flared striped sleeves. And it's also got a bit of a peplum on the edge of the jumper there. It's just a grey jumper. We're coming into winter here in Australia. So that's why you're seeing so many like long sleeve tops if you were wondering. I think I'm actually liking this one. Like it does have that slight like peplum, but because it's the same kind of material, it's not as noticeable. It is quite warm. It's got like a the fleece lining on the inside. And I do like the detail of the bell sleeves. I really like bell sleeves. So that's another keeper. And then the next one here, I'm not sure about this one. This originally was $59.95, reduced to $29.95, and I paid $20.96. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> So it is a pink, 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 pink top. Then on the sleeves, it's got like these ruffled, pebbled kind of sleeves on it. You can kind of see it. It's got like spots all over it. Okay, so this is one of the tops that I was a bit worried about the color. I think the color is just way too pale for me. I think it's just gonna like wash me out even more. I think this one's a pass. Moving on to the last giant parcel. Clothes is like the one thing that I never purchase. So I, I usually do like a big purchase like this maybe once or twice a year and then that will get me through. I pick up a few things here and there when I'm like shopping in my local town or in Brisbane or something. 
but in terms of like making big purchases like this it's a rare event okay so this top was originally $99.95 I ended up getting it for $24.97 it is a chambray shirt it's got shoestring straps but then it's also got like a cold shoulder down to a sleeve with a bell sleeve and it's also got ruffles across the boobs and it just flows out. It's a lot in one shirt, but I will try it on and see. This is a size 14. I'm normally like a 10 to 12, sometimes 14 in tops, depending on how I want to wear it. I think I'm going to keep this. I think I like this top. It's, it's a little bit too much, I feel, with all the frills and the sleeves and everything, but I can, I can deal with it. Um, has adjustable straps. I feel like this is a good nice slap on and go out for dinner shirt. This one the material is a lot different to what I thought it would be. So this one originally was $69.95 and I paid $19.97 and this is a cold shoulder again so it's just like a straight t-shirt with shoestring straps, cold shoulder and just little sleeves with a slit. I feel like I need to go the next size down but I feel like if I go the next size down it's gonna be too tight around my hips. I mean it doesn't look bad but I just feel like I'm gonna like I'm gonna pop it out. This one doesn't have adjustable straps. I think if it had adjustable straps it would be perfect. This top that I'm about to show you was $99.95. I got it for $24.97. It is this cute chambray shirt again and it's got frills on the sleeves and it goes down to like this nice flowy top this was the top that i was most excited about and this extra bit here just makes you look wider and like more round and it doesn't sit doesn't seem to sit right on me this one is gonna be a go back to this next one it was originally 59.95 and i paid 14.97 so there's no way i would pay $59.95 for this. It's just this cute little like tank top with ruffle all the way down. But it might be, it, it's probably going to look really nice over like black leggings with some heeled boots. This is the ruffled layered top. I actually think I quite like this one. It's quite a nice shape. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but and the top I'm keeping. So the next one I'm about to show you was originally $69.95. I paid $34.96 and it is like this distressed long sleeve bat wing. It looks like it's going to be a bit back bat wing jumper and it's got a slit up the side there. I got this in a medium. It does look quite large. Okay, so this one is the slouchy, distressed, asymmetric, pull-on batwing top. I think I would actually wear this if I kept it. It's not the most flattering thing in the world. It kind of cuts you across. I mean, being that kind of like cut you, it's a bit more flattering. It is pretty like ginormous on me, but it is very comfy. This one, I think I'm going to have to have a think about. Like I said, it's not the most flattering top, but it is super comfy. I paid $19.97 for this top and it was $119.95. So I have almost saved $100, like two cents off saving $100 with this top. I don't know why I was buying pale pink because it's not really a color that I normally wear anyway. It is this spotted pale pink singlet top and then it's got these cold shoulder sleeves on it and and it's also got a tie waist on it, which I'm not sure if I will use. I'll see what it looks like with and without. So this is the other pale pink top that I picked up. I have no idea why I picked this up. It's too tight across the, the chest, which is making all this not sit right. This little bit here, I feel like it's just the tiniest little bit too high to accentuate my waist nicely like it's more cutting me in half here rather than showing off my waist this one's a no-go so the next top once again was originally $119.95 I paid $24.97 for it so it is this little peplum top with a cold shoulder this does have a like chunky zip detail on the back of it and it does look like if I don't like the little cold shoulder thing it does look quite easy to remove I don't like like the cuffs these just don't sit properly on me they just I don't know if any of you ever had any like parents or grandparents that wore like those 
cuff things over their boots to stop, I don't know, things getting in their socks and stuff. This is what they look like. Those little cuffs that you put over your boots to stop things going in your boots. I quite like the top. It's a nice fit. It's a really nice fit. But these arm things are just ridiculous. This is a no-no. <laughs> I do like the shape. I think it's quite flattering. I'm gonna have a look and see how hard these are to get off. The next one is extremely bright. So the next one was originally $59.95 and I paid $9.97. So it is this extremely bright yellow tank tea and it's got pom-poms all along the edge there okay so this is the holy mother of god brightest bloody yellow top i have ever seen and i feel like it just goes up a little bit too high i feel like i'm kind of wearing a turtleneck if it was cut just a little bit lower in a scoop or a v it would be a perfect top but the way it is at the moment the way it like stands it's a no-go. This last one was originally $69.95 and I paid $34.96. So it is this black striped top with cuff sleeves and it does have a tie. So you're supposed to tie these at the front of it. I thought this one would look quite nice for work. It's quite a thick material though. So I'm not sure how, how we will go. This is the last top. I don't know whether it's the most flattering top me. The whole shirt kind of goes weirdly shapen when you tie it because it kind of like curves around here. This one unfortunately is a miss. It looks really nice on the model on the website. I don't really have much luck out of all that. I've got four definite keeps and I think I've got I've got three in my maybe pile that I'm gonna try on again and see that's the, the the joys of online shopping so that's it that's everything that I hauled I did a lot of damage let me know down in the comments box which top you liked I would love to know your opinion on what which ones you liked make sure you check out uni days if you still have a valid university Australian university email address because they always do sales and my email address my account's still valid with them even though i haven't been to uni for like three or four years so make sure you check that out check out the sales that are going on before the end of financial year you're bound to get some great bargains if you are needing to pick up anything like some new tops like i did or a new jacket like i did always google coupons before you click that buy button make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it let me know in the comments box if you like these kind of try on haul videos i don't have enough money to do them regularly but I will try and throw them in every now and then if you do like them make sure you click the subscribe button down below if you're new around here I upload videos twice a week Monday and Friday and everything on this channel is to do with Australian beauty this is your go-to channel for all things Aussie beauty that's it for today everyone thanks for stopping by and clicking on this video to hang out with me today and I will see you in the next one goodbye everyone